Okay, we are going to, we're gonna talk about how to turn and move a Spike Prime or EV3 robot in the new programming environment that LEGO Education has given us. I think the programming environment is awesome. It looks like Scratch programming. It feels like Scratch programming. It's, it's awesome. I, I love Scratch programming. The drag and drop blocks, Good job, Lego. Good job. Before I begin, I wanna give a shout out to uh, a team that I've met through uh, video, Almost Heaven Robotics out of Parkersburg, West Virginia, which isn't too far away from me. Uh, I hear you guys are doing some awesome things. I talked with your coach. Uh, she said that you are doing fabulous. Good luck and maybe, maybe we'll get to hang out. So I am in the uh, Spike Prime programming environment. I'm just gonna launch a new program and I'm going to go ahead and connect my brick. That's the first step. So I'm gonna click my little brick icon here, my Spike Prime brick and I am going to select connect via Bluetooth and then press the Bluetooth button on my brick. It'll beep. Bluetooth will come up on my computer and so will the Spike Prime. I'm gonna select it. We get the connection sound and we are good to go. So the program window comes back and we see our project and we see our programming area and all of our bricks and blocks on the uh, left side. Um, just really quickly today, we're gonna be talking about the blue and pink movement blocks um, and how to program our robot to do some basic moving. I'm just here to get you started. Um, not here to program full first Lego League missions or classroom missions for you. So, uh, before I do anything else, I want to put the brick into streaming mode. I'm going to click down here on the little zero tiles, uh, and I'm going to put the brick into streaming mode. You'll see the little uh, brick flash and the icon change, and we are ready to start programming. Now, I want to encourage you if you're gonna move more than one motor at a time, I would encourage you to use the pink moving blocks, movement blocks. So what this does is it says at the very, very beginning of our program, we can set the movement motors. So anytime we use a pink block, we're gonna set our movement motors to A and B or whatever they are on your robot, it could be B and C or E and F or A and F, whatever, it doesn't matter. So uh, whatever they are, you can, you can set them as that. Mine are A and B. So then I can just say move forward four. Uh, we'll kick it back to the traditional EV3 programming where we don't have necessarily centimeters and inches, but we do have rotations, degrees, and seconds. I'm gonna say move for 1.5 rotations. And now if I run this program, the robot will move forward for 1.5 rotations. I can change the speed of that by saying set movement speed to, um, I don't know, I'm going to do 40. Uh, 40 is a good speed. 40 is a good speed for this robot. Um, I'm going to do 40. Use whatever speed is good for your robot because you might not have the same robot as I do. All right, uh, if you do, awesome. If you don't, maybe you wanna check it out. Build video will be linked down below in the description. Uh, so now I can turn if I really, if I want to. There's a couple different ways to turn. Now, one of the ways is to just use a blue block and say, I want A to turn for a certain amount of rotations, 
Uh, and I can run this by trial and error to see I want a 90 degree turn. Let's just say I want a 90 degree turn. I can say, okay, well, I think a 90 degree turn is gonna be, I don't know, 0.75 rotations. And I could run this and see what happens. I was actually <laughs> really close, okay? But I wanted to turn the other way, all right? So if I want to turn the other way, uh, I'm gonna switch the direction of motor A, and I'm actually gonna tell motor A to slow down because I thought that turn was a little fast. So tell motor A, I'm gonna bring a block out and say motor A, slow down to maybe 20. Programming tip, this is key. Always turn slower than you drive forward and backward. If you're turning your robot, always drive slower. All right, uh, so now if I reset the robot, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna put this, it was a little much, but I'm gonna keep it as it is. We'll run the program. Oh, that was almost, almost perfect. So I think maybe 0.7 on the uh, turn will work. Reset the robot and run this one more time. Maybe we'll get closer to 90 degrees. Maybe not. Put it back to 0.75. And that's how you decide how far you're going to turn. Now, you could also do uh, turn the other way by using selecting another motor. I could say I want B to turn um, as well, um, and probably switch direction. That would turn the other way. There we go, 90 degree turn the other way. And then I could continue on how I wanted my robot to perform in First Lego League or in a classroom setting. Now, I want to show you really, really quickly, um, there's more movement blocks that you can use. So if we click on the plus uh, bricks block uh, uh, icon down here, there are more movement blocks and more motors. I'm gonna go ahead and add both of those to my toolbox. I call this my toolbox over here. Now if you notice all the way down here, there's more movement and more motors. So you can kind of condense blocks like this. I'm gonna write the same thing over here. I'm gonna right click and duplicate this and put it over here. And I'm gonna write the same exact code, just condensed a little bit more, less, less blocks. All right, so I'm gonna say, I want to move straight, that's the same thing as forward, for 1.5 rotations, one and a half rotations at speed 40. So that takes these two blocks and puts it into one, and then I'm gonna to come to the movement blocks and I'm gonna say I want to run motor, I'm gonna go back to the whole motor A thing, motor A for one rotation at 20% speed. Uh, and actually this is 0 0.75. And I believe I had to switch the direction. Let me get rid of that and put this on. I don't need to set motor A again. So it should do the same exact thing. It should go one and a half rotations and then turn to the right. Yep, perfect. And that's some basic moving for your robot. Now obviously, if you want to go backwards, you can uh, do speeds of uh, or rotations of negative rotation. So if I wanted to go backwards, so say after that I did want to go backwards, I could say uh, move um, in the movement blocks, the regular movement blocks, there's a move backwards, or I could move um, straight for negative rotations. So move straight for negative 
rotations. Reset the robot. And run this. And then it moves backwards for ne negative. It actually moves negative one rotations. So that's how you can manipulate your robot by moving it very, very easily. That's it. That's some super basic moving. Now, I do have one massive issue with turning, right? So what if something gets in the way? What if your wheel slips or what if your wheel's dirty? There's a way to always turn whatever degrees you want to turn or whatever amount you want to turn. That's using the gyro. I'm gonna talk about that in the next video. So whether you have a spike prime or a gyro on your EV3 robot, the next video you're gonna to wanna to watch to learn how to program your robot to turn by the gyro and always make sure you turn the amount of degrees you want to. I'll see you in the next one.